Good morning, America, Europe, UK, wherever it is you're watching from. Hello to you from me. The video clip you're about to watch is a discussion on miles per gallon weight and cost of the truck. Three of my most asked questions. So, I just wanted to warn you right up front that when I made that video clip, I was having a bad day. I had a load canceled from a crappy agent. And uh, anyway, I was just, uh, just having a bad day. I got stuck in Indianapolis and made that video under stress. <laughs> so anyway, so I apologize for my tone. If it offends anyone, anyway, but... Uh, there you go. So roll that beautiful footage. Welcome to my house. Yes, this is my house. This is where I spend the majority of my time when I'm not here. Where I spend the other majority of my time holding that wheel, changing those gears. Yes, this cooler is not normally here. I've got it here so I can shoot this video. I told you guys here a while back that we would shoot an interior version of the truck. As, you know, I live in this thing, so it's a little bit of a mess and not totally set up how some would do it. But anyway, here we are in the uh, bunk. Now this is lived in, uh, so pardon the mess. So what we did is we moved this shelf up, put the microwave there, and put a little two drawer bin, apples, bananas, and bread, and famous black seed oil, good stuff. m &Ms, you know, little snacks, uh, business center down there, the laptop, drawers, yada yada. So, uh, the bed spread come out of the Volvo and have it bought one to match the brown you notice my sheets match uh, my rug matches but I haven't done the bed spread yet but anyway so again you know this this uh, has the wall cabinets all the way around so a lot of storage got all my groceries in that one this one is uh, bag stock of meds and vacuum cleaner and over here is Blue jeans, shirts, underwear, printer, paper, uh, just socks, t-shirts, hats, uh, laundry detergent, Walmart garbage bags, paper towels. I got a lot of room here I don't even use, but here's the fridge. Uh, stocked and uh, so I need to go to the grocery store. Biscuits and yogurt and then my lunch meat there. And, a little freezer with a massive TV dinner and a breakfast burrito in there, but it's a lot smaller than what was in the Volvo, but it gets the job done, you know? Do what you gotta do. Uh, I don't cook in here like I did in that Volvo. Then you got your hanging closet. Yeah, hanging stuff and shower bag down there and my uh, peel supply, ibuprofen, Tylenol, B12, toothpaste and, yeah you know well, there's the control center for the Thermo King uh, factory controls for heat and air power ports clock I don't, I don't know how to use that stupid thing light switch ashtray in case you want to smoke you a big old uh, cigar from Cuba in here I tried that once don't recommend that Maybe my lungs hurt for three weeks. Well, not three weeks, but hurt for two or three days. <clears throat> this is a little Coolertron cooler, man. Coolertron. Great cooler. Had that thing for three years now. <clears throat> Works fantastic. Uh, anyway. Here we are back up in the front. So, let's have a little conversation. Two of my most 
frequently asked questions. What is your fuel mileage and how much does the, does the truck weigh? Well, they always ask about that big X-15 motor. How is it on fuel? This truck is not the truck you want to look at for fuel mileage. You don't get fuel mileage, you get that right there. That's a fuel mileage truck. This thing is not, I mean, look at that hood. Right here is my eye level and you got another foot up there, so. Uh, and then you got a, then you add the 290 inch wheelbase on there. I mean, look at that, look at that gap between that truck and that trailer. Well, you, you, you know, humongous gap right there for one. Let's take a, let's get a front end, a front end view. And you'll see that, uh, so you see you have the square hood there. And up there you got about three foot above that. Well, you push a giant square box, pulling a giant square box, trying to punch through the wind. And uh, and then you got all this gap right here. Well, this is just not, this truck is not set up for fuel mileage. Yeah, the trailer got the skirts. That just makes me California compliant. It'll help fuel mileage a little bit. Look guys, I had a Volvo doing 7.2. 7.3 miles per gallon. I knew what that was. I knew what this was getting into it. I didn't buy this for fuel mileage. It's like um, it's like buying a uh, a Prius or you want the Cadillac Escalade. You've got two times of people. You got you got the people who wants to drive the Prius. You got the person that wants to drive the Cadillac Escalade. Let's call that the Escalade Cadillac Escalade. Let's call that the Prius. Okay, Escalade Prius. Take your pick. Uh, and I always wonder how much it cost. Also, let's get back to weight. This thing is 21.7 before I fully moved into it. Yes, this door says, uh, where's that right here? 19,036. See that? 19,036 pounds. Uh, what play takes into play of that is one the wheelbase because you get a double frame see it right there a double frame from there all the way to the front is an insert anything over 280 i think it is you get an insert all right so you're paying for uh i'm sorry we're, we're doing weight right not paying truck for chrome polishing people got to fix that but anyway so that adds a lot of weight the length of the frame adds a lot of weight that big old huge motor adds a lot of weight uh just brakes and that, uh, that torque package you get heavier rear ends uh, uh sorry heavier drive line bigger clutch bigger transmission uh I'll show you on the spring hanger i don't know if you guys got another peterbilt around but but here you got one, two, three. Uh, oh, there's Kenworth. Uh, but anyway, I can show you on the people. Most of them just have two. Okay, so that's a little bit of a difference. So you got a little bit more massive. Uh, anyway, I'm getting into the field. I don't know anything about because I'm not a Peterbilt man, and I didn't go look at other Peterbilts. I knew what this Peterbilt was. I knew what Peterbilt Steve had. I didn't go pricing. I didn't go shopping. I called the man on Wednesday, said send me an inventory. He sent me an inventory list on Thursday. I gave it till end of business on Friday. I told him which one I wanted, which was this one. I said, I'll take that one. I bobtailed from Tennessee to Tulsa, Oklahoma with the Volvo, swapped it for this one, back to the house. That's the way we did that. I didn't call all the other people at dealerships and shop around because I tell you what, Let's get into cost, okay? Everybody said, oh, what's that truck cost? Well, let's tell you right now, straight up. I bought a Dodge truck. Now you can go buy a brand new Dodge truck anywhere from 15,000 to, I don't know, let's say 50,000. 
say a 1500 Dodge, half ton Dodge truck. You can get a base model for $15,000, or you can get the fully loaded uh, leather package, climate, automatic, four wheel drive, the whole works for $50,000, okay? So, everybody asks, well, what, what's that truck cost? Well, I, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna tell you what it's gonna cost. And you're gonna say, oh my God, I can go buy one of those for $150,000. Yeah, you probably can. Will you get that truck for $150,000? No, you will not. You'll probably get a little pack car motor, uh, a 10 speed transmission, uh, a 240 inch wheelbase, uh, cloth seats. Uh, I, I mean, you know, I mean, the, I mean, the list is no lights, uh, no disc. I mean, no, you know, so. <clears throat> So there's gonna be critics out there. Oh my god, you did well anyway. So this these trucks right here The way Peterbilt Steve, Steve sets these up fully loaded now this thing is This is not your cheap run-of-the-mill uh, Company buying fleet operated truck. This is loaded out to the max custom ordered by Peterbilt Steve in Tulsa, Oklahoma with Go watch his videos. I don't know how to do links. I ain't gonna try. I might try one day. I'm too busy driving a truck. But anyway, so go watch Peterbilt Steve's links. Uh, if you just Google 389 Peterbilt, you'll see Peterbilt Steve pop up. He's, he, he posts them. He tells you what he's got in there. And you go compare that to another truck and you're gonna see the differences. Uh, the, these trucks rigged up like this with a 290 uh, is in the 160s. Uh, that truck, a little higher than most because of two color. The frame uh, adds about a grand. Uh, you know, options, uh, lighting, whatnot. But these trucks run in the 160s. Uh, can you buy that truck for 150, 155? You, you, you might. I don't know if you can get a 2018 for 155. Yeah, I think you can. You can buy that truck, 2018, uh, before all the rigging before all the lights and disc brakes. I think you can get it for like 150, 155. So this truck fully rigged in the 160s. Uh, when I say rigged, in case you guys don't know, it's all the lights and uh, breather lights, bumpers, visors, extra lights on the thing, the stacks. I mean, it all takes uh, a, a, a play in it. So the way that truck sits from Peterbilt stays in the 160s. Uh, I'm not going to get exact numbers for you because it, 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 it varies. Uh, you might call him tomorrow, he might give you that, that truck might be a difference in thousand dollars. Who knows? Depends on the market. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know how it goes. But anyway, I'm just telling you, okay, I paid in the 160s for this one. She weighs 21,700 pounds. She's fat. You know? Does she get good fuel mileage? I don't know. For a truck like this, it might. I mean, I'm pulling this big square box, pushing big square nose down the road. I'm getting around six. Uh, it, it might be low sixes. Depends on the load, depends on the terrain. Will it break in and get better? I think it will because when I was a company driver with uh, First Fleet, uh, we would I would get, lose my fuel bonus every time I get a new truck to about the first 90,000 miles. Once that truck got 90,000 miles on it, it came alive and I got my fuel, I got my fuel bonus back and, uh, and it pulled like a freight train. Now, now, uh, is, is there anything to do with that? I mean, it could have just been tire wire or wear. It could have been, I mean, who knows? I, I'm not saying it takes to 90,000 miles to break this summer gun in, but I'm saying that when I was getting a fuel bonus with a company job, every time I got a new Volvo, I lost my fuel bonus for about 90,000 miles. And then once that got back, I came back with a vengeance. I got my fuel bonus. And every time I get a new truck, man, I mean, I was always top tiered fuel bonus, fuel bonus bracket. Uh, so it could have been a lot of factors in play, but this thing's got 20,000 miles on it. Uh, if it can do us better fuel mileage, great. If not, who cares, man? I mean, uh, I didn't buy it because of fuel mileage. A lot of guys out here are concerned about fuel mileage. A lot of guys should be. Let fuel mileage plays. That's a big part of your business. Uh, it, it adds up to a substantial amount of money each year. I knew that going in, okay? I didn't buy this truck thinking, oh my God, I can't get in 7.2 miles a gallon. I'm just getting 6.2. Well, I knew that, right? Uh, but I got what I wanted. That's what matters. Like I said, you can drive the Prius 
Or you can drive the Cadillac Escalade. So uh, I'm driving the Cadillac Escalade. If you don't think it's a Cadillac Escalade, well, I don't know what to tell you. But uh, in my book, it is. You know, I think a lot of guys, even in, even guys in Europe or anywhere in the world, they talk American trucks. They talk that right there. They don't. They don't talk that. Okay. They talk that. That's what American trucking is comes to mind when you tell someone in Europe you're an American truck driver. Trust me, I've been to Europe and they found I drove a Volvo. Of course they love Volvos because guess what? Volvos are from there. They think Volvo's the but that is the American trucking trucker. And they you know, Volvos in their opinion, in their part of the world is a good truck in that part of the world but in america that's it okay i'm in america now so now i'm driving an american truck no longer driving a volvo but anyway that's my two favorite questions uh, well three questions really what's the weight what's the miles per gallon and how much she cost well the weight's 21.7 i'll just explain to you why yes you can get one lighter you can get them for 17,000 18,000 you got the little pack hard motor and you got all that disc brakes and it's a 240 inch wheelbase or got a little fish drill with a little glider in it but this truck's heavy she's fat she's heavy she handles the road like a dream she she'll handle she stays planted i mean you can't beat it right uh cost so that's what you get for the 160s you get that uh it's fully decked out i mean you'll see the seats i don't know if i ever showed you the seats uh it's got the nice it's got the top of line everything right and uh, miles per gallon. Well, it's a square box, pushing a square box, pulling a square box. So it's what you get, you know? And look at that gap. I mean, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Just, I'm going to get rid of my airlines one day. I'm going to put them down here underneath. I'm going to take them off and uh, run them underneath, hide them. And that'll just clean it up. Man, that'll look good. Yes, sir. Indeed. Okay, that's my rant and raving for now. We'll uh, get back to working. And I still don't have my lights back here. I had to put these little cheesy light covers on there because you got to drill these pop rivets out and then, and then, uh, see, these factory ones have a gasket. I can't find gaskets go behind the new ones. <clears throat> and if you take that out and you'll put a gasket, they leak. And uh, so, yep, all those lights I, I've gotten. But for that, I think I'm going to put them back here on the mud flap brackets anyway. And then, uh, and then uh, I found some new ones that go back there. They're clear, and uh, you, they're that new uh, color changing. So they'll be red, or you can flip a switch and they turn white. So I'll be able to use the white ones to hook the trailer up, and uh, flip a switch turn red for running at night. So pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, there's old trailer rails shining like a new penny. Truck needs polishing. And uh, we'll get a trip back out to California, get another spa day done. Time for another polish job. My tanks uh, are dirty. See a little bit of a shine there, but yeah, not as good as it was. I need to get them polished up and washed up. Yeah, it's a constant battle. <clears throat> Blue Beacon truck washes. Anyway, all right, we're out. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that discussion topic. It's a different day. Uh, someone asked me how I keep the truck clean. Well, I don't. I work the crap out of it, and I wash it once a week, whether it needs it or not. So I'm going to show you a dirty truck. So any small children that may be watching this video, you might want to cover their eyes because it's fixing to get dirty. Uh, before we get into the dirt and uh, x-rayed version of the Peterbilt, I wanted to add to uh, that that video of the cost of this truck. I I could have bought a I could have bought a new Volvo 780 with a nice shift 12 speed automatic uh, for about ten thousand dollars less, and probably got about five thousand more on my trade. But at the end of three years, I realized what that Volvo is worth compared to this Peterbilt. So yeah, you're saving money up on the front end, 
and uh, a little bit on fuel mileage, but at the end of the end of the duration, you lose it all. So you might as well drive the uh, classic American truck because what you're losing in the end of it, you're getting it back. So hope that helps with anybody concerned about fuel mileage, your trade, and uh, makes up for it at the end, the end of the term. Anyway, so here we are, filthy. So apologize for the X-rated version, but don't always it's not always clean i just video it when it's clean so you know she got bugs and rain and i mean just holy crap yeah, it's filthy some guys are probably running oil fields that said hey dirt well i'm a freight hauler man i run asphalt so it's a dirt but look at that stack see that stack just nasty if chris chris grimshaw's watching this he's probably having probably having a coronary you know but i'll get her cleaned up chris i promise yeah, mud all over the trailer, dirty roads, mud all on the tri pack. So there you go, triple X rated, uh, Peterbilt action. So any of you guys like like uh, trashy videos? Well, there you go. There is your trashy video of the day. So apologize to the Peterbilt world for displaying my filth on the internet see ya